What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a bit of an impromptu video because Apple just announced WWDC 2021 and I wanted to load this page in the video because this cool little animation of the uh, MacBook opening up here. So here we are on developer.apple.com slash WWDC 21 and they've got this first and foremost this cool little uh animation here with uh, these glasses front and center that I'll get to in a moment. And then down here we got a bit of a blurb to glow and behold. And they've got this paragraph basically saying that WWDC 21 is going to be coming. It'll be completely virtual from June 7th to the 11th right here. They're saying you can join, you know, Worldwide um, Developers Conference at a screen nearby. Other than that, they don't really have too much information yet on this page, basically just the announcement the fact that it's virtual and then down here they also have a swift student channel uh, rather challenge so uh, in this challenge they run this every single year you can basically create an interactive swift playground and there's some criteria you need to be you know a student or a recent high school graduate or a college student at a accredited university anywhere around the world i think in the u.s you need to be 13 years of age or older or in europe 16 or older but basically you'll get um instead of attending the conference because it's virtual this year you'll get if you win basically some um some swag some t-shirts, hoodies, some pins as well. So uh, pretty cool if you want to participate in that, if you fall into that bucket. But let's go back to uh, this page for a second and let's talk about Dub Dub this year. So clearly Dub Dub is going to be a little different because of the pandemic and whatnot, just like last year. But I'm pretty interested personally, and maybe this is a stretch, um, it seems like Apple pretty intentionally added the glasses in this image here. So maybe I'm reading into it a little bit, um, but if they wanted to just show someone sitting in front of their computer watching presumably the conference, they could have done so. But they took effort into designing these glasses and if you look really closely, you can even see the reflection of like the icons. Like you can see Finder here and there's like this little calendar here. Let me zoom in. Can I not zoom in? I guess I can't zoom in, but um, there is some reflection going on there. So my first gut feeling says, think AR, think Apple glasses. I'll be a little shocked if they announce any Apple Glass related hardware. Uh, are they working on something? I mean, the rumor mill has been going nonstop, so I would fare to bet yes. Um, but we usually always end up seeing things like uh, an AR kit improvement, so like AR kit, I think we're on five this year it'll be, but other than that, my expectation, so definitely iOS 15 preview, uh, a incremental update to uh, the latest here for macOS, so the latest uh, Big Sur uh, incremental update, no major redesign, I would assume. I also have a feeling that iPad OS 15 is going to be more differentiated than the current version of iOS, and I say that because it really seems like Apple is positioning the iPad and its OS to be more of a desktop replacement. So think things like widgets being able to move, you know, uh, more so in terms of customization wherever you want to put them, you know, more pointer and keyboard support, even, even things like window and window taking a leap forward. But those are the high level predictions I have. Um, I'm sure Apple will announce something uh, about M1 and their silicon and, you know, how uh, the iPad and iPhone apps are going to be coming to Mac and what that means for developers. They've touched on it already. I actually might do a video on that as well, but I have a feeling they'll take it further. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Much shorter video than usual since Apple announced this yesterday. I wanted to get this out sooner rather than later. So that's all I've got for you guys. If you haven't, smash that like button down below. Don't forget to do so. Hit subscribe to stick around for Apple iOS Swift related videos every single day. Comment and let me know what are you looking forward to at Dub Dub this year. Um, I think it's nice that at least we're still having it, even though it'll be virtual. But fingers crossed for some pretty cool announcements. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.